Welcome back. The community tonight is sharing their thoughts as Bell and Health gets ready to acquire Dickinson County Healthcare System. In tonight's Your Health Matters, TV6's Nicole Buckman tells us what this all means for patient care in Iron Mountain. Whether the name on the outside says Bellin or DCHS or both, we want to continue as is and make it better. Last Monday, DCHS announced their intent to join Bellin Health to become Bellin DCHS in 2018. Even though a larger health system is purchasing the local hospital, community members understand this change. You hate to lose local control, but you look to the future. And the future, of course, for health care, for small hospitals, is a real problem. So if we go forward with Bellin, I would think that the future is bright for uh, health care in Dickinson County. In the next few months, both entities will be working out a formal purchase agreement. Major topics to be discussed include investments, hospital board control, and most importantly to some, the future of the DCHS employees. The meeting uh, a week ago indicated that they were going to keep everybody whole and I think we have to make sure that that's part of the process. The agreement will then have to be finalized by both the hospital and the Dickinson County Board before any purchase can be made. So what I'm going to be looking at is the final contract and making the decisions based on what really is best not only for today or tomorrow but for the next 10, 15, 20, 30, 40 years. The VA Medical Center, a longtime supporter of DCHS, say they support this major change and look forward to working with Bellin. One of the new emphasis is really working closely with uh, local non-VA community partners and providing the very best care we can and, and I think Bellin will be a great asset for that. Bellin and DCHS hope to have their formal purchase agreement finalized by early summer. Nicole Buckman, TV6 News, Iron Mountain.